Hello everyone, my name is Sparky from Sparkywood Gaming, and welcome up to another episode of Sparky's Guide to Minecraft. So in this episode, what we're going to do is that we're going to be talking about the enchantments in the game. So, you might think, you know, I already know about the enchantments, you know, I already know that I should be having, or should be getting protection for on all of my armor, and I'm breaking, and I'm mending, and efficiency on my tools, and I'm breaking on the tools as well. And, you know, that's what everyone else does. And, you know, probably that's what I'm going to be doing with my armor that I have. I'm going to go over um, all the enchantments that are currently in the game. Uh, just talk about them one by one. And I am, as I'm going over them, I'm also going to be enchanting my tools. Uh, I crafted some diamond tools. And I did craft some armor. My iron tools are looking a little bit tattered right now. Um, and I do have 30 levels, and I am going to have to get 30 levels to enchant literally everything, because that's what I want to do today. I already have one pickaxe that I want to have in my arsenal, and I eventually want to upgrade that to netherite, which we will talk about that eventually. But I do have this, so that's one thing that's very good so far, but I can make it better with efficiency 5 and eventually mending once we get talking about villager trading but we're not that far yet so this is one good pick enchantment for a pickaxe that i would like is silk touch i guess i think i've talked about it before if i went down caving well in this cave over here or even the stone right here if i just have a normal pickaxe and even this it works with diamond too if i just mine like this the stone is going to turn into cobblestone so if I had a silk touch, it would pick up the stone and wouldn't turn it into cobbles. I went through all of my enchantments for my gear, and what I had found out was my the best, uh, whoops, uh, the best enchantment that I uh, had gotten with everything was on my diamond sword, looting three. So what looting does is it kind of basically in the name you get more stuff with that sword. So that it's up to three levels like it says right here so it increases the maximum number of items with the most common drops by one per level that basically means like i'm gonna just get a lot more stuff from stuff that i would kill with this sword so let's just say if i were to go over and kill one of these cows i would probably get one to uh, maybe a couple worth of beef now, if I had looting on the sword, I would get, I could get like 10 or 15. I, it would just, it would be a whole, whole lot of beef that I could have and cook up. And then I would be good with eating and I won't have to eat, resort to these baked potatoes. So what I can do, obviously, like I had shown you before with enchanting, you just, if you want to, you can... Do it, um, just put it in the craft table, or you can shift click and you can shift click this lapis. In, and hopefully, it's good because there are times where in the enchanting table is very not great. But let's just go ahead and see what it gives me sharpness three and loading three. Sharpness three is a good enchantment, but sharpness goes up to level five. You can also put sharpness on an axe as well, but it basically increases the attack damage. I don't remember if I had shown you before, but now it says nine attack damage. Don't quote me on this, but I think that a normal diamond sword attack damage is seven. So it does increase it by a little bit. I, I was right. So there is seven attack damage with a regular diamond sword. And obviously, it adds two more attack damage, two extra hearts of damage. That's what sharpness gives me with sharpness three. And I can eventually get that up to sharpness five if I really want to. I think as it is, I'm gonna keep it just because I can make another diamond sword and see what that gives me. What I normally do is, I know that it's getting dark out, but I would what I would do is I would go back through here, efficiency four, efficiency four, efficiency four probably usually these are the same and then i can take off my armor and then i can go okay i'm breaking 
fire resistance, depth strider, definitely depth strider is probably what I'm going to go with. Why I'm choosing depth strider is because depth strider helps you move faster in water. Each level reduces the amount of water slows the player by one third. Let me just go take a snooze. Okay, so uh, the base is just over this hill. So basically what Depth Strider does, like I said, it reduces the uh, the amount of water that it slows the player by one third. So just see how slow this is. No Depth Strider boots at all. So what that Depth Strider would do is make me move a lot faster. That's why it is such a valuable enchantment because you can move a lot faster. So I don't know if you had just seen that. But I had gotten fire. Okay, so there's fire protection on the leggings and fire protection on the chest plate. So fire protection can actually go up to level four. And so can the rest of the protections. There's the regular protection that I had talked about earlier. There's the fire protection. There is the blast protection. And then there's the projectile protection. Regular overall protection. Uh, protect you from basically everything. Overall protection from mobs, from fire, from anything. Fire protection that reduces the amount of damage coming from if you're in lava or if you're in if you get attacked by a zombie that's burning or if you uh, step in a flint and steel. That's what fire protection is. Projectile protection is protection from projectiles so if there was a skeleton up here and i didn't block with my shield the projectile protection would protect me from those arrows there is a couple mobs in the nether that we have not talked about that yet and i have hinted at and we will probably go there soon once i once we build the house we'll probably go there there's two mobs in there uh the nether the blaze, they shoot fireballs at you. That protects, that, the projectile protection would protect you from those fireballs. There's another mob that also shoots fireballs called the gas, and the gas is very annoying. That's what projectile protection does. And then the blast protection, if there's like an explosion, like a TNT explosion, paper explosion, that's what the blast protection does. So I am going to go get 30 levels again and then I am going to enchant those boots and hopefully I get more than than just another enchantment because that's kind of sucky how I started. So I'm going to go get 30 levels and then I'll be right back. And the moment of truth. <laughs> I gotta take these off first, duh. Okay, let's go. Moment of truth. Seriously, I am getting so unlucky. Wow. I mean, it's a good thing that I have my the diamonds that I have. But let's see what else. Efficiency 4, is it still the same? Still the same. How about... Fire... fire okay, fire protection 4. Protection 4. Okay, okay. Um, I think I'm going to get protection. Go back and go get some... I guess some XP. So if you're ever kind of in a pickle like me where it's the same enchantments are popping up on the enchantment table, one thing you can do is, uh, well, there's a couple of things that you can do. One way is if you can get books. So I do have some paper and I have to get some leather. Ooh, I have 15 leather and you can make books. And I don't know if we had talked about making books at all yet. But I am going to show you. So what you need to do is, I know I do have a lot of sugar cane. <laughs> I have a lot of stuff just from harvesting this off camera. But what you can do with the sugar cane is you can make paper. And what you can do with this paper is you make books. And I'm pretty sure that's we, we went over this when we were talking about making the enchantment setup. But what you can do with these books now is you could actually enchant these books. And what I tend to do with the books and when I'm in a situation where it's like I'm not getting the enchantments that I want, what I usually do is I put um, a book in and I usually just do a level one enchant. 
Now what you can do a level 3 enchant and it's going to take away the levels just like enchanting with this or the boots and it has Riptide on it and that is a trident enchantment that and we don't have a trident yet but what I'm going to do is I'm not actually going to do a book enchantment just because I'm going to have to go back and go with some XP so I am going to risk it and let me just see what I got. Oh, protection we had. That's right. Um, I'm gonna just do it on the chest piece and let's see. Okay, that's actually very good. That's better than than nothing for right now. But if I w wanted to do something, let's just say I want to get. Yeah, I don't want that. I don't want protection three. Let's just say, or let's let's see. Silk, okay, silk touch. That's what I want. Silk touch for that, and <laughs> silk touch for this. Okay. Well, I know what I'm gonna go get now. All right. So for the pickaxe, let's see what I know that I want to. I said I want a silk touch, and okay, efficiency four. Not terrible. I'm gonna have to get another pickaxe to get it unbreaking. Let's see what else. Efficiency four. See about the armor. I'm breaking, which I wanted on my pickaxe, and I'm breaking. So, I mean, I could risk it, but what I was trying to say before I was like, okay, let's go with silk touch, is let's just say for my helmet, I want a specific enchantment, and it only has them breaking as of right now. So if I Let's just say I want Aqua Affinity. Aqua Affinity helps you mine blocks faster. Let's just say I want Aqua Affinity on this helmet. What I can do is I can just do a bunch of level one enchantments. And that was a level two enchantment. But let's see now. I'm breaking three still, okay? So I can keep going. And oh, <laughs> well, I guess I am gonna get Aqua Affinity on this helmet after all, so. <laughs> wow. Okay. Well, I will eventually use the anvil to add that. But let's just look for something else. Silk Touch on that. Silk Touch on that. Fire Protection and Aqua Affinity. Why don't we go with Silk Touch on the shovel? All right, we're gonna be enchanting the shovel. And. Here we go. Okay, that's decent. I can, like I said before, I can make another one, another shovel, and get a uh, unbreaking. Efficiency, efficiency three. What? What is this crap? What the heck? Why? Is, wow. Okay, I think my luck is running out. Stupid thing. Okay, well, I'll be back. All right, so I'm at the point where I'm not getting good enchantments. Now, fire protection three, that's okay. Protection three, that's okay. Efficiency three, that's that's okay. But the the thing is, like, I know that I got sharpness three on here, which isn't the best. But I got efficiency four on this and this. So, and I even have protection four on this, and you know that depth strider that's not that great. But I got to protection four on this. And I'm breaking three, so I can do better. So what I'm gonna be doing is, well, let's see what we have for a book enchantment. <laughs> Fire protection three. Okay, well, you know what I'm gonna do? Just because I sometimes do this, I don't do this a lot, and I don't recommend doing this like a whole lot because you're just gonna drain your levels. But sometimes if you do a, f a level 30 enchantment on something, then that kind of refreshes the traits. Or <laughs> not the trades, the enchantments. So let me just, I'll just do that and see, I'm only going to get one, one enchantment. So, okay. Fire protection three. Okay. And I'm breaking. So I did change them a little bit and I'm breaking. I'm not really going to chance it here. So what I am going to do is I'm going to do the level 1 trick. So I just do that. 
and I am gonna talk about some of these, but what I plan on doing is just using this, uh, the grindstone, that's what this thing is called. So, but I'm gonna put the enchanted books in here for now, and I might keep that, and I'm gonna definitely keep this one too, so, cause I'm gonna add that on the helmet, cause that's what I wanted. But I'm gonna, I don't know what uh, piece of equipment that I want to have a specific enchantment on, I just wanna know, like, Okay, see, I'm getting fire protection four. Fire protection four, what about this? I'm breaking three. Okay, so it is changing, but I am gonna just roll the enchantments a little bit, um, and then I will show you the process, um, how to get those books back. Cause there used to be, before it was, in that uh, the grand summon was in the game, you actually were just left with enchanted books and you weren't able to get rid of them and you weren't able to get books back. So I'm gonna do that for real quick and then I will, show you how to do that okay so i did my enchanting and i did the level one enchant another thing that i forgot to mention is you can also do the same thing with a particular tool so uh let's just say well i don't want fortune um but i did do this off camera just a second ago um but if you want a specific enchantment on something you can always do a level one enchant of it and then you can disenchant it so i'll show you this and this it also works well it works with literally anything enchanted so i'm gonna enchant this and then i can re-roll the enchantment table very easily you know the stuff i have enchanted i could easily put in here and then i get a, um i just get the pickaxe or i get whatever was enchanted unenchanted back and it gives you some xp um back so that's why it is kind of a good thing to do like disenchanting stuff i should talk about some of these books first though so we have talked about protection so blast protection we touched on unbreaking i did not touch on yet impaling i think we have another one of those over here this i have talked about i haven't talked about that and smite okay so i talked about protection blast protection already talked about that talked about that so being of arthropods so it gives um it increases damage to arachnids or not arachnids arthropods most commonly it's used for spider uh, xp farm or cave spider xp farm but it also includes silverfish which can be found in infested stone or i believe in infest, infested deep slate as well but they also there's a spawner in the stronghold in the portal room which we'll talk about later once we get get that far in the series um endermites we'll talk about endermites and ender pearls once we get to that but basically an endermite is you can spawn it with when you throw an ender pearl there's an off chance where it'll spawn and then bees which we have not talked about yet but there is a nest actually in the birch tree um that I, you've probably seen in my videos so but that helps kill the bees faster which i don't understand why just because if you um, hit a bee, they're gonna die anyways. So, smite. Smite is an enchantment that helps kill undead mobs. So, i.e. zombies, skeletons, mobs like that. Any variant of zombie, any variant of skeleton, which includes a stray. Impaling. That is a trident enchantment that is, kills undead mobs, or not undead, um, underwater mobs faster. Unbreaking decreases the amount of time that a tool or a piece of armor decreases durability. Efficiency we've talked about basically helps you mine faster. Piercing is an enchantment uh, for a crossbow. Basically it can pierce through a shield and I guess I think that's the only thing it really does. Um, it's also you can't have multi-shot on the crossbow. Speaking of things you can't have it on, Smite, you can't have, and Bane of Arthropods as well. Those um, enchantments uh, can not be used with um, something like Sharpness. You can't have Sharpness, and you can't have Smite on the same sword. You can't have Sharpness, and you can't have the Bane of Arthropods on the same sword. So if you want to use those enchantments, I recommend having another sword or putting it on 
something like an axe because you can put might on an axe, you can put vein of arth arthropods on an axe, you can put sharpness on an axe. So let's say you have sharpness on a sword and you would like to have smite, but you don't necessarily want to make a sword, another sword. Well, you could just put that enchantment on an axe. Or you could do vice versa. You could have sharpness on the axe and you could have smite or bane of arthropods on the sword. So that's kind of what those enchantments do. So with all these books that I have, um, I'm going to keep these two. I'm just going to keep this one just kind of because, oh, it's uh, my first level 30 enchanted book. Actually, I think it's like the second one. So but what I can do with all of these now that I've kind of went over them, and hopefully that was a good explanation. So if, if it's not, then if you, and you have any questions about these enchantments or any other enchantments, um, you know, feel free to ask in the comments. Um, but what you're going to do now with these or anything that's enchanted, you could get rid of the enchantment. It's done with a grindstone. And that's what I usually have uh, typically with my enchantment setups now post 1.14. So if I was enchanting um, in 1.13 and earlier, I, I would have had all of these enchanted books and that they would have just been sitting in my, one of my chests. And what I would have to do is I would have probably just throw them in a lava or set them on fire and, and they'd get destroyed. So but what I can do now is I can use a grindstone and I don't know if you saw earlier, but it's going to give me a little bit of XP back. It wasn't a whole lot because it was a level one enchant. But if you have something like armor from say an XP farm, which I have, I can disenchant that and I can get levels from that. All right, so I kind of want to get, don't touch on this. I want to get efficiency on breaking, maybe smite too. So what's efficiency for? Okay, how about protection for, and okay, you know what? I'm gonna go protection with a helmet just because, and I don't have 30 levels. So <laughs> I will take the protection for, but I'll be right back. All right, the moment of truth, protection for, let's see what else we get. Respiration. Okay, that's good. All I need would would want is I'm breaking and I have aqua affinity, so that would be kind of easy. I have a good and done helmet. Maybe add mending once we get that far. But at this stage we're looking pretty good on the helmet front. Now see what I can get on these leggings. Protection three Fortune 2. Okay, well, I'm going to use some of those tricks that I had taught you. And if there are some books that we haven't gone over, then I will definitely go over them. I am going to leave a article for the a list of enchantments uh, for the Minecraft wiki in the description. Hello, everyone. It's been a couple of weeks. Or, well, more like a few weeks. At least since that last clip. I've been doing a few things off in the meantime. But just a quick update to uh, finish off the episode here. So I finally got the leggings to be section four and I'm breaking three. Um, but not everything is like the best I want to be like these boots, this helmet and these tools. These all need a breaking. Um, this needs to be a lot better. I need a lot more enchantments on this and a lot more enchantments on the axe. So. Probably between episodes, I'm going to finish these off. Or maybe in the next episode, I'm going to finish these off. And then we can get to more stuff in the series. I would like to potentially build a house. Uh, and I've been designing that past couple of weeks. So that's what kind of what the future is looking like. So, um, and you know, I might sound a little different right now. And I'm going to explain that in the next episode. Um, I hope to see you there. And thank you for watching if you've gotten this far, and I will see you in the next one.